Welcome to kids class. Hooray, it's the last day of May. So tomorrow is what? Close, but he was so close he gets a prize. Right, but you don't get any cigars because you were close. Okay, uh, today, shh. Today, did you get to pick up that good? We're gonna talk about checkmate, and we're gonna talk about why you checkmate somebody. The main reason is because I said so. But there's other reasons. Okay, we're gonna talk about having more force. Okay. We're gonna look at some games where people got checkmated, and the reason was the other player had a lot of pieces attacking their king. Did they have one piece attacking the other king? No. Did they have two? No. Did they have eight billion? At, at least, at least. You have to have more chess pieces than people in the world. Otherwise, you won't be successful. All right, here's the game I played in 1992. I think most of you were there watching the game. And it was played in your favorite country. Armenia. Armenia is close. But the correct answer is France. Okay? That's close, right? Because your favorite city is there, Marseille. Anyway... So in this position, nobody's getting attacked yet. And white is threatening the bishop, although that's not very close to the black king, is it? No. We better get some white pieces over there so we can checkmate him, then I can collect my prize. Now, I don't want to make anybody cry, but this was 1992, so the prizes were in French francs. <sighs> you guys really upset? If this was played today, wouldn't the prizes be in euros? Now we're talking. Okay, and if the tournament was in Greece, it would be in gyros. All right, so black played bishop to b7, saving his bishop. Okay, what did Private Ryan say about that? I don't know. Exactly. All right, now we have to go attack the black king. We have to attack with all of our pieces. So I move my pieces towards black's king, and then he cried. That's why I brought Kleenex to the game. You, unknown person. You can move C2? Queen C2? I could, but I'm going to retreat even more. This was France, so I really knew how to retreat. The, the kids all got that, by the way, for those of you at home. Yes, in the back. Yeah, later. So I played 94. Rawr. Now I want to mess you up. I'm going to take this way and this way, and then you're gonna cry. So he took my knight, and my rook was very happy. See the smile on my rook's face? Now my rook has the green light to go. You see, I have a pawn in front of my rook. As we say in French, not anymore. No pawn in front of my rook, as I took with the pawn. Yay, now my rook is good. Also, my center's pretty good. Okay, he played pawn to e5. Now, I can't move my center pawn. Hey, if I illegally take on Poisson, I could win. Hmm. Okay, so now, as somebody suggested earlier, the queen must retreat. Queen D1. Is my queen going to checkmate him here? No. What would the Germans say? Yes. They'd say, Ish don't think so. But if I play queen D1, now my queen can come over here and checkmate him. So he gave up. No, no, not yet. Okay, so he played rook to e8, and I put my queen near his king. Okay, and he tried to take my queen. What did I ever do to him? Tried to take his king. Oh yeah, that's right. So he played bishop to c8, and his bishop is lined up with my queen. So now, if it was his move, he could move his knight away, attacking my queen. I'm a yeah, so I move my queen again. Three. Queen h5. Rawr. Okay, and he played bishop a6, attacking my pawn, because he's mean. And I said, you can have my pawn, because I'm going to checkmate you. Notice, I bring more and more pieces near his king. And he moves pieces away from his king. Okay, so he's like... Yay, a free pawn. And I'm like, yay, a free king. Hey. Okay, so now I, I'm ready to go. I'm ready. I got everything lined up. He played F6, and I played the scariest move you ever saw. You have to be seven years old to see this move. It's really scary. It's rated PG7. You. 
Oh, oh yeah, why seven? Oh, on H6. I did take on H6. That's because you're 10, so you can say that. Oh, yeah. Bam. Bam. I'm almost 11. Almost. I'm, I'm almost 11, too. I'm only 34 years away. All right. Yeah. Now, if my opponent takes my queen, the computer will get mad. It's like, no, you can't do that because my rook is here. What's my rook doing to his pawn? Pinning it. What kind of pin? Relative or absolute? Absolute. Absolute. Now, I'm threatening checkmate because I like checkmating people. What vitamin does checkmate have? C. Vitamin C for checkmate. I'm threatening checkmate. If you don't like that checkmate, then I can play this checkmate. Is that okay? Yeah. So what did he do to stop checkmate? Did he let me checkmate him or he stopped it? What did he do to stop it? What did he do? No, he didn't do that because then I would checkmate him later. He played rook f7 defending his pawn. He's mean. Now I save my bishop, bishop c2, and he played in the center, d5, and I was like, oh boy. Question. Answer. Um, oh, pawn. Yeah. So I took his pawn, and now look at my great bishop. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. That has vitamin B for bishop. If I went to the sixth rank, then what vitamin? C. Vitamin B6. <laughs> you know, you guys. Okay, so he blocked my bishop with E4. This move is so tricky, and here's why it's tricky. See when his pawn was here, see? And now it's here, you agree? Yeah. See his queen? Rawr. Oh. So the reason I can't take his queen is because king. But if it's his move, he could take my rook, and now he can take my queen. You see my queen on h6? I then I lost a rook. So did I let that happen, a player of my caliber? No, I retreated because I was in France. Queen H5. I hope MVL likes this lecture. Okay, now he played Queen C8 because he retreated. And I played Rook H3. Uh-oh. The Rook and Queen are about to make a battery on his king. If you want to checkmate your opponent, using a Queen and a Rook is a good idea. I know, right? Exactly. Okay, he played Knight F8, Larson style. And now, let's see, I got a text. Maybe it's the right move. It, that probably was really loud in the speaker because it was right next to it. So you got to do some editing. Okay, wait, we have a move here. Yeah, I just got a text with the right move. Wow. Very impressive. Now, who's my favorite player ever? Very close. Me. Me is also a good answer. No, not you at home sitting on the couch. No, you're not my favorite player. You're like my second favorite player. Okay, his initials are PM, because it's the afternoon. Oh, PM. Paul Morphy, there you go. And Paul Morphy, when he was attacking, he used all of his pieces. He didn't use one piece, he used all of them. Which white, he, all of them, even the king, pieces off the board, pieces in other countries. He was like, give me all the pieces. Now in this position, which white piece is white not using? The rook, that rook does nothing. Now, I'm the expert on doing nothing. You can ask anybody. So I was like, wait a minute. That guy's got to go do something. So I played rook to e1, attacking his pawn. Hmm. Okay. And now he made the losing move, although he's already losing. So how did he do that? Okay. He made a move that loses really fast because he wanted the class to end. So you guys could go up and play your tournament game. That's what a nice guy he was. Okay. He thought I was nobody. You know why he thought that? Because I was nobody. So he's right. And he's like, hmm, if I attack his queen, he won't see it. So he attacked my queen. Isn't he a mean guy? No. Now, I'm a nice guy. If you want my queen, you can have it. Anybody got a microphone I can drop? Because I got to get out of here. Wait, do you like my move? Yeah. Yeah, oh, wait a minute. Is this, is this a microphone? Bam. All right. Wait, this is the microphone. You. No, not you. You. You're shorter. Oh, wow. Yeah, I agree with that. 
You know, he didn't even do that. First he started crying, and then he gave up. I mean, crying I could understand, but giving up? Well, I'm supposed to wait? Hold on. Yes. Uh, I am, he told me to wait. Now I have to wait more? <laughs> All right, hold on. I'm waiting. When they take, you take. Bishop X check. You sure? Yeah. You, should, you should double check your analysis. I know, right? Let's see, let's Is it double, double check? check? All right. If he takes my queen, I play double check using Ooh. this bishop and this rook. I see oh. that. But now he can go. So he has to go here, right? Answer. Uh, uh, they call love there because That's your question? No, 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 no. Okay, your question is never mind. Yeah. All right, so check me, and then I win. Notice I use all my pieces. My bishop was scaring him. My rook finally came out. All my other pieces. His pieces are over here away from his king. He doesn't need them near his king. And the one piece near his king stops his king from moving. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so then I won and he didn't. Hooray for my pieces. Okay, next game was against everybody's favorite board member, Doug Eckert. Right, is that your favorite board member? Yes. Jim's like, yeah, why not? Okay, now here, uh, this is a game I played uh, last year. It was Thanksgiving. He had nothing to give thanks for except he didn't get tortured for many moves. Got to be quick. So my bishop's attacking little drunk, this bishop's attacking, my knight's coming, and his pieces are over here. So let's checkmate him, how's that? Oh, yeah, I agree, okay. So he tried to get his bishop out. Should my bishop jump over my pawn? No. You kids are so mean, can't I just do it once? No. The people at the home are like, yeah, yeah, do it, do it. All right, I'm gonna do it. Yes, wow, I'm really good. Okay, so I took his pawn, and now my bishop is wide open. That's a good bishop, right? He took my pawn. Now, I don't have a lot of pieces attacking. Let's get some more pieces. Yeah. Knight g5. Arr. Okay, now my bishop is attacking. My other bishop is attacking. My knight's attacking. And here comes my queen. So first he cried. Then he resigned from the board in shame, right? You agree with that? No. Man, Jim's like, I hope that didn't happen. I have to resign from the board in shame many times. He's like, no. All right, so black played g6, blocking my bishop. That doesn't say that in hell. That blocks my bishop. Let's pretend he didn't block my bishop. Do, 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 do. Okay, now I take his knight. Which way should he take, with the pawn or the queen? Oh, if he takes with the queen, bam. Attacking your queen and your rook. Yes. If he takes with the pawn, then vitamin C is coming. Queen H5. And then, and then lots of trash talking. Not, not, not a small amount, a large amount. Now I'm threatening checkmate. Good luck stopping it. I wish you luck. Who's going to stop checkmate? You're going to stop checkmate? You can resign, that'll stop checkmate. Yeah, no, resign, I'll do it. You sure? Rook E8. Rook E8, and then I go check and checkmate. If you don't like that, then I can go check and checkmate. And if you don't like that, I have other checkmates. Okay, so he, he didn't let me do any of that because he's on the board. He played G6, blocking my bishop or he went back several moves for no reason. Okay, now we need more pieces to attack. How do we get more pieces to attack? We play bug house, then our partner gives us lots of pieces. Yeah. But I wasn't playing bug house, this is real life. So yeah, get my queen out. Now my queen's attacking his knight and my bishop's attacking his knight. Do you know how much he cried? It was a lot. Yeah, that's right, cry him a river. Now, I just showed you the game from France, so you know the black retreated. Bishop e7, defending his knight. I need more pieces to attack. Who's gonna give me more pieces? So I played bishop b5, attacking his knight. Mine. 
My night. Night. I don't think he let me take his night, though. But I wanted his night. Okay, now here was my idea. It was really long and crazy. Ready for my crazy idea? He, he moved his night backwards. Too, too, too much love of French food. If he went here, I was going to play something crazy. Okay, I take his knight, he takes my bishop, and I go here because I want to play bishop takes knight and then checkmate. So he played knight to b8. I mean, I thought he did. Okay, now if we play another chess game, he's set up for the next game. Good job. Okay, more attack, e4. All of my pieces attack. Everything's attacking. Now he played a6 attacking my bishop. I saved my bishop. He took my pawn. I took his pawn. Do I have enough pieces attacking? Yes, no. All my pieces attacking. Except for one. Look at, look at this guy. Get the rock off. Get the rock off. Did he develop his queen side? No. Get the rock off. Wait, it's not my turn. Now I'm threatening to win this knight because I have three guys on his knight. That's a lot of guys on his knight. So he played knight takes knight, bishop takes knight, threatening his rook. Did, did he save his rook? No. Probably. What's the only way to save his rook? You have to move your rook. Okay. Now I play the move that's so good, everybody in the room cried, not just my opponent. I think. You do? What is it? Um, queen c3. Queen c3 is not a bad move, but he'll play f6. But your move's pretty good. I sacrificed because I like to checkmate my opponent. You know, vitamin c. So I played knight takes h7, attacking his rook and winning a pawn. So now he did something crazy. Don't tell anybody. Shh. Cl cl close your ears at home. No, he did something crazy. He gave up. Let's pretend he didn't give up. What would you like him to play, Martin? King takes? Okay, now white has checkmate in two moves. Who can find it? White has checkmate in, no, no, now you have to raise your hand, no screaming. Yeah. Uh, queen h3? Queen h3 almost works, except he can block with his bishop because he's a mean guy. And now his queen protects his bishop. But you're almost right. You've never been so close. Yeah? Um, bishop to G6. Well, that's a legal move. I'll give you that. Then he takes it and I cry. Okay. How do I checkmate him? Nobody knows? No. Oh, bathroom's over there. F, queen to F, uh, 8. Queen F8? No, queen That, man, that's risky. Get, get a little risky over here. Uh, well, you don't know. I'll call on you. Queen h5. Put it in h. He can't take because of this silly bishop. Vitamin B for bishop. Now, he has to play king g8 and then checkmate. Notice the bishop on b2. Yeah, so after knight h7, he resigned. Resigning was a good move. Yeah, answer. Make a move that, well, his rook is attacked. What would you like to play? Rook e8? Man, knight f6 check. Man, I feel sorry for you. And also, knight f6 check's probably a bad move, but it's pretty good. Take the knight? I, I, I think white has an advantage. When I say white has an advantage, if, if I was in the hospital, had one day to live, and I was playing Magnus Carlsen, he'd cry forever. Uh, that made a lot of sense, right? No. no. Now I'm threatening your queen, and I'm also threatening checkmate, and then you resign. Resigning is good, because then you don't get checkmated. Queen here, here? Mm -hmm. Then I go here, and then I go here. Yeah, exactly. Right. Okay, now the last but not least, before your tournament game, I play Priyadarshan, who always beats me. And what, what do I do when he always beats me? 
cry. This game, there was very little crying from my side. Okay, so in this position, I'm black. My bishop's attacking his king. My knight's attacking his king. Queen's coming down. Knight's okay. Only my rooks, they do nothing. Are my rooks attacking his, queen, his king? No. Let's do something about that. So I played knight a5 attacking his queen, but he saw it. Aye. Moved his queen. Now I played rook b8. Rawr. Here comes the rook. He took my bishop, but I saw it. I took back. He moved his knight to defend. Rawr. Rook takes b5. He played knight d3. Rawr. Rook b8. Now all my pieces are attacking. Right? Everything. Rawr. Okay. Are these pieces defending his king? No. No. Terrible. Okay. I have five pieces attacking his king. Don't cry. It's okay. I had black. Okay. He played king c1 to run away. Where is he running to? Where is he going? He can't, he can't go here. I'll take his king. You can take the king. I can't. I'm a grandmaster. He's only international master. Exactly. See, somebody's learning. Okay. Now, knight to c6 because the knight was blocking my queen. Now I'm threatening checkmate. Checkmate's good because I win. <laughs> Queen A1 checkmate. How does he stop checkmate? Well, the best way is to give up, but he chose a more logical way. B4, now his queen is defending. See how his queen wasn't defending? And now it is defending. See what he did there? All right, now I was very hungry because the game took four hours. So I was really hungry, so now I started eating pawns. Mmm, mmm, lots of roughage. Knight takes b4. I showed this position to a grandmaster, and he cried for a week because he had a nightmare and thought he was white. Yeah, and then he woke up and realized it wasn't his game. You agree, Paul? Paul didn't see this. He's going to cry. What do you think of white's position? A little scary. A little scary. Wait, we have a text from a grandmaster. Don't show me that. I'm, I'm scared. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, man, that's not good. So now he did something better than I've ever seen before. The computer says he should give up his queen. And then I play pawn takes queen. They say that's the best move for white. All right, let's see who can play white and avoid checkmate. If you last more than three moves, you're the best. Who can play white and last three moves without me checkmating them? No who can do it? You can do it? All right, I'll play resign, okay. How about playing some moves? Now, I have to warn you, I'm threatening knight a2 checkmate, so be careful. But yes, you. Ah, the move the computer gives. Giving your queen away for a night. Now you know why he resigned. Yeah, that also gets checkmated, but you last longer. Yeah. So black's threatening knight a2 checkmate. And as some of you would point out, it also wins the queen. That's even better than checkmate, right? Mm -hmm. No, no. All right, so since black has all his pieces attacking and he's winning, white gave up. Now it's time to go to the tournament next door if you're playing. Yeah. Okay, so if you're playing Wait, are you playing, Martin? I don't know. Ah, oh, good answer. Mm -hmm.